Hey friends, in this video, we're going to go through and explore the new Teams activity in Microsoft Fabric Pipelines. Let's get to it. Hello, my name is Austin Leibel, and today I'm going to be talking about how do we go through and use the new Teams activity in Microsoft Pipelines. So as we go through and work inside of Microsoft Fabric, we have a data factory-like experience in this new software as a service that provides end-to-end -end analytical solutions. Now, if you haven't already seen the Pragmatic Works channel on YouTube, go through and check this out because we have tons of content on Fabric that has already been out for some time and we go through and we talk through many different solutions for if you are a data engineer or if you are a Power BI developer or if you just want to know what Fabric is altogether. Now we also have several other offerings and I'll talk more about the uh, the end of the video what those are. But for now let me go through and show you how to use the new Microsoft Fabric Pipelines Teams activity. So what I'm going to do to begin with is I'm going to go to my Microsoft Teams environment and create a new channel because what we're ultimately going to be able to do with this is write data and write information about how our pipelines are executing inside of either a Microsoft Teams channel or a Microsoft Teams chat. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to use and create a new cheat channel here or a new team that we can call. And I'm going to call this new item that I create from scratch in a private environment. I'm going to call it Microsoft Fabric Pipelines. Just kind of give a general generic name uh, for what we're going to be doing here. So with this, I'm going to go ahead and click on the create item here. This will give me a new team. I could potentially add people to this team or to this channel if I needed to. I'm going to skip that step for now. And this is where ultimately I'm going to be able to write messages messages from my Microsoft Fabric instance. Now over inside of Microsoft Fabric, I already have a Fabric workspace that was created in the Data Engineering in Microsoft Fabric Learn with the Nerds live channel that we did the other day. So go and check that out if you have not seen that. It should be on the uh, channel under the live section. But here we are inside of that workspace. So what I want to do is go through and create a new pipeline that can use information and write data and write information about what's happening inside of my pipelines into that Teams channel I just created. So I'm going to go through and create a new pipeline. I'm going to go to my more options here. This is going to be under the data factory experience where we're going to be able to find these data pipelines. So if you've ever worked inside a data factory, you've maybe seen and going to see some similarities to that. I'm going to click on this item here, which is going to give me a new pipeline that I'm going to call my teams activity. And then I'm going to go ahead and create that item inside of my workspace. Now that I have this, what I can do is go through and I can use different activities to be able to ultimately orchestrate straight my data workflow. I want to go through and I want to move data. I want to transform data. I want to do ETL or extract transform load. I can use a pipeline to help orchestrate that. I can call upon many different activities such as a data flow gen 2 activity or a notebook activity for different purposes inside of the pipeline experience. Now what I'm going to do for this one is just make a very very simple pipeline. All I'm going to do is go over to my home in activities ribbon and in the activities ribbon, we have many different activities that we could potentially use. And right over here is the teams. Now there's also an Outlook 365 activity and you should have already seen, or if you haven't, go check it out, my, uh, my YouTube video on working with this activity. But this one works a little bit differently because instead of sending an email, it's going to write that information to the teams channel. Now what you're ultimately going to do with this is you're going to go over and click in the settings pane. And when you click on settings, it's going to ask you to sign in to a Microsoft Teams account. So I'm going to click the sign in button there. This will bring up a single sign on authentication method for me to go and choose. I'm going to choose my Pragmatic Works authentication and allow access to this Microsoft Fabric instance. Now that I'm signed into this, what I have to do is go and decide what happens. Now, ultimately, this would be something that would happen at the end of a pipeline execution. You might have something like a copy data activity that runs first and ultimately flows into the Teams activity. Now, just to simplify this video, I'm only going to go through and run the Teams activity, but you can go through and use this as a larger part of your orchestration to let your team members know how what is happening with the pipelines and that something is either run successfully or has failed. So my options for the Teams um, 
activity once I go through and have that created and I'm signed in using my uh, Azure Active Directory or Microsoft Andra ID authentication is to decide what I want to post in. So I have an ability to post in a channel or a group chat. I'm going to go through and post in that channel, in that Microsoft Teams uh, environment that I just created for myself that I'm the only member of currently, but again, could potentially add more people to. So once I go through and select channel, it also is going to require me to pass in the team that I actually want to go and use. So I'm going to choose the Microsoft Fabric Pipelines team, and it's going to ask the channel. I'm just going to write that to the general channel inside of that. So now that I have this, what I can do, once I've kind of specified where I want to write this, what am I going to write well this is just going to say something like uh, the pipeline ran successfully just kind of have some sort of message or the pipeline failed so the pipeline ran successfully and then we could also potentially give some information like uh, don't want to save just yet what was the pipeline run ID or something like that? What's the workspace that this comes from? So we can contain information like that, pipeline run ID, and then use some of these dynamic content system variables to allow ourselves to know what actually ran and how it ran for ourselves. So I could have the pipeline ID as well that I use. I can go through and kind of contain some information about that. And then finally, maybe I also want the workspace ID. And at the end of it all, maybe I say, great job, because we did a great job in running our pipeline, right? So now that we have this, again, we can also point to some more dynamic elements using the expression builder, should we wish to. And we talk about that more in the Office 365 Outlook Activity YouTube video that I did just a couple weeks ago. Uh, we can go through and we can actually run this now, and it should write that message inside of our Teams channel. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to my Run ribbon here, and I'm going to click on the Run option option and then save and run. This is going to go through. It's going to execute my team's activity only. That's the only activity that's currently in this pipeline. But if we add other activities here, it would potentially go through and do those. It would run them successfully or they would fail. And then we would have some sort of output in the Teams channel at the end of that that we dynamically retrieve. This has gone through. It's already succeeded. So what I should be able to go through and do is go over and now look inside of my Teams activity. And there it is. The pipeline ran successfully. Maybe need a space in between that, an additional space there. Here's the pipeline run ID. Here's the pipeline ID name. And here's the workspace ID as well great job. And potentially I could go through and give that a nice thumbs up there and say, great, we see that it happened and everything was successful. Now, if you're interested in learning any more about Microsoft Fabric, definitely stay tuned to the Pragmatic Works channel as we're going to be having so much more content coming out over the next weeks, months, and years around the greatest, latest thing inside of the Microsoft Fabric Analytics platform. Or if you have not subscribed to the Pragmatic Works On Demand Learning channel, go ahead and subscribe to that as well as we're going to have many Fabric courses out during the course of 2024. Well, hopefully you had a nice video here. Hopefully you learned something new and you're seeing just what we can do with the Microsoft Fabric Pipelines. Hopefully you've enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.